The New California Republic is one of the four main factions in Fallout New Vegas. They have some of the best quests in the entire game as well as some unique and cool looking armors. But just like any other faction, we can use mods to improve various aspects of the NCR even more. In my previous videos, I have already covered the Legion and the Brotherhood, and today it's time for the Republic to shine. So without further delay, let's get started. First, let's overhaul how they look. The vanilla clothing textures doesn't look great. To fix that, we need two mods. Assorted NCR armor retexture replaces the trooper armors with new high resolution ones. This is not just a simple upscaling mod, it completely remakes the armors, adding some essential improvements in the process. As you can see now, the armors have a much lighter color. Unfortunately, this mod doesn't cover all the NCR armors. To fix this issue, we need all non-DLC clothing retexture. It covers all the clothing in the game, however, is not as higher quality as the previous mod. To make them both work with each other, I recommend loading this mod first to allow the assorted retexture mod to overwrite the armors that it covers. But if you don't want just a simple retexture, then try NCR Trooper Overhaul Beta. This mod completely changes the armors of the NCR Troopers. In my opinion, these look way better than the vanilla armors without feeling out of place. While before most types of troopers looked the same, now every single unit looked different and distinct. Now that we have given the NCR some new threads, let's start adding more weapons to their arsenal. We will use two mods to do so. NCR Rearmed Remade adds four new variations of the service rifle, as well as adding various small things like bandoliers, ammo pouches, etc. But my favorite inclusion are the different type of backpacks this mod adds. Some soldiers can be seen carrying water bottles and climbing equipment for long journeys while most lookouts can be seen carrying lanterns. This just adds so much believability to these soldiers. This mod also adds two new masks, and although it does make sense, I am not the biggest fan of how they look. NCR Weapon Expansion. The Right to Bear Arms Remastered adds four new weapons for the NCR. All of these new weapons look unique and distinct, and although they don't come with any custom animations, can still be used with hits animations using X-Edit. Now that we have given our soldiers some new weapons, let's give them some more places to live or add more details to already existing places. NCR Enhancement adds a lot of new details to various NCR controlled areas. Most of the time, these are new tents for soldiers, but sometimes more creative decorations such as a howitzer in Mojave Outpost can also be seen. I especially like the redone NCR Embassy. It is now a two-story building, and there's also a new wall separating it from the outside. I don't like all the new changes though, like how the giant statue in Mojave Outpost is situated on top of this mountain now, instead of being in your way to the outpost. A small outpost and more mod adds a small NCR building east of Crimson Caravan. I can see this as a lookout NCR set up to keep an eye on the Crimson Caravan. This mod also adds an abandoned general store next to it, which almost gave me a heart attack. Freeside Overhaul, NCR Jailhouse adds a small jail in Freeside. You can only interact with one prisoner, but he is worth it. They say I kill people, but how would they know? I eat the evidence. Ugh. NCR Checkpoints mod adds several NCR tents at various locations in the Mojave. This mod is more gameplay focused than other similar mods, as all of these checkpoints were placed at locations where you are to get attacked by Legion spies. This is also proved by the lack of detail inside these tents, as well as large number of supplies. This mod is perfect for those who play with survival mods, but adding a bit more detail to these areas will definitely help with the immersion. NCR Safe House Facelift completely changes the layout of the NCR Safe House. There's now a radio room and a living room, the living room is packed full of detail and contains essential tools such as workbenches and hot plates. This is too different from the normal safe house, so I can't recommend it to everyone. But I personally like this new design. Increased NCR population adds more troopers in Helios 1, Camp Forlorn Hope, and Camp Golf. The increased amount of troopers adds more life to these places. NCR Truck Convoys doesn't add any new areas. Instead, it adds moving truck convoys at various areas of the world. You can barter or repair your weapons by interacting with the trucks. These next mods were either single of its type or can't be categorized into any distinct category, so I'm just gonna cover them in the miscellaneous category. 
NCR Trooper Companions add two generic soldier companions in Camp McCarran. One is male and the other is female. Both of them have no personality at all as they are meant for role-playing. Speaking of role-playing, in the NCR adds you into the NCR faction. You can now freely take any items of the NCR without being marked as a thief. With the downside being NCR enemies, are your enemies permanently no matter what your reputation with them is. Another role-playing mod is NCR Citizenship, with which you can apply to be a citizen of the NCR. The application contains questions such as your name, residence, and profession. The mod uses AI-generated voice, but you almost can't tell. Here's the deed for your home, and here are the keys. I'll file the paperwork for the Republic and send it back west for you. Enjoy your new home, and remember, if you ever want to invest in more property, I'm here from 9 to 5 every day of the week. Anyway, the application process takes almost two in-game weeks. After getting the certificate, you can visit this guy named Aaron Lambert who can sell you three houses ranging from 1,000 to 4,000 caps. The first one is a small shack. The interior is dark and congested. The second one is a ranch house, the interior of which is clean but a bit old. And the last one is a normal house with a clean interior with recent wallpapers. I highly recommend this mod as it is both polished and will fit into the game perfectly. NCR Commander lets you call in any type of troops to aid you as well as letting you control them with various commands. You can even call in a vertibird which looks really cool. This mod is perfect if you want to roleplay as an NCR Captain. I Fought the Law, NCR Start mod lets you start the said quest by talking to Lieutenant Hayes. Now you can do this quest even if you have bad reputation with the Powder Gangers. NCR Dialogue Expansion adds back lots of cut dialogues. Some examples are the following. I don't suppose you got any boots you could spare. You all right? You might want to get those wounds checked. I'm so fucking bored. God, give me something to shoot. I swear I get sand blowing in my food again. I'm going to lose it. Some of the rangers, they originally came from Arizona. When they get back soon, they're going to be pissed. You see any traders around, tell them I'm looking for a new poncho. Nights here are so damn cold. Keep loitering around here and someone's liable to think your ass is one of them Legion spies. These add a bit more personality to the troopers, and that's it. The NCR has way lesser mods than Caesar's Legion, which did not expect, but if I started adding any and all mods into the list, then it would have felt bloated. Hope you found some mods for your next NCR play. See you in the next one.